So he's got an army here. They can't quite get to Euphranta, but we've got one on the way, which can't quite get there either. But we could at least back our fleet over this way just in case of anything bad coming our way. Interestingly, Cyrene aren't dead. So where are they? So they might not even have a town there. No, it doesn't look like it. That's just where their armies are. Holy shit. Okay, I don't think we have to worry about that for a while. How'd you know they were in Armenia? You just you spotted it on the map? Yeah, they're far. All right, good stuff. A victory. Finally. Killed one army. So I've lost three armies and one and about to lose another town. Three armies and two towns, let's just say. But I've killed one army and taken one town. So that's good. That's something. <laughs> and the victory music will come on now. We'll feel great. So I've got three minutes. Need to decide what to do. So we lost some units. We're at 18. Maybe we could recruit up. There's not much here for us. Cyrenian mercenary hoplites. Give them to me. And then... Lord, ready for orders. Save the Cyrene Cyren Armenians. <laughs> Cyrene Armenians. A victory! I don't suck completely. Life's not so bad. Um, so we have two armies here, and then we have our ally with us, actually. Sparta has retreated out, uh, so I need to move my spies. I don't really care much about what's going up there. I want to have a spy down here still, so I can see what happens down this way. I'm going to move this one into... I wanted to move them into Turkey. You can't cross here, no? I guess not. Actually, you know what? Two in Greece is important right now, so I'll actually leave them in Greece. You can sally out from Pele with the guards just to make him lose some men. I don't know. I don't know if I want to be that guy, you know? I don't know if I want to be that guy. They have a thousand militia, 800 spearmen. Like, it's. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Because we'll fight it out. You know, it's not. No, I can't decide the order itself. It, he'd want to fight that out. So. The rule is when it's player versus player, you can fight it out if you want. So, they're dead. They're dead anyway. He'll just surround. Missile them. You might kill like a couple hundred, maybe. It's not worth it. Do it. So the AI would do. Yeah, we don't just do whatever the AI would do. Uh, oh, never mind. That's stupid, lol. <laughs> yeah, we can we can say like whether it's going to be an auto resolve or not when it's just fighting the AI. But when you're fighting a player, if the player wants to play, that's on them. So. It's just the way it goes. I'll decide this later. Uh, I need to decide. Oh, yeah, recruitment. Ah, uh, we don't have much time. 7,000. I actually don't have much money anymore. Because I moved my general out of the capital, didn't I? That was one, that's one reason. We also have this fleet. I'm gonna send down here. I have a feeling he's gonna give chase to my fleets. So yeah, I don't know if I need to do any recruitment then. If I've only got 7,000, I think I'll leave it. I need to move this army though. Is 
Is Foundry King rehired next turn? Nah, it's, don't want to do that. Just going to move him. I'm a weird player. I just like to do things that make sense. To me, it's just like, that doesn't make any sense. So I'm just going to move him. Just feels better. Continue to push in Egypt. That's the idea, although I would be worried about that army. Oh, we have to kill that army that's behind us somehow. Like, no doubt that's he's going to send it to Euphranta. No doubt, right? How could you not? It's so valuable. Although he might, yeah, maybe he won't. But I, I would imagine he's going to send a fleet out and try to help attack it or something. Maybe. His fleets could still maybe take it. Maybe. Like, I've only got 14 units, and they're not very good. So two full stack fleets. I feel like I could put up a pretty good fight as a defense, but I don't know. You could raise an... Well, it's too late now. It's his turn. It's either this turn or not. Are you talking about... No, no, no. I've got one on the way. An army is passing by, so it, it should be fine. Although, yeah, I guess he's not going to get here next turn. I suppose, yeah, mercenaries would work. I'm very interested to know, like, what's he doing with his navy? Uh-oh, he's got two. One was hiding somewhere. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem now. If I could ambush him or sabotage him, that'd be amazing. Yvranta is gone. Yvranta is probably gone, but we could take it back in like one turn. You know, if I have these armies back here on the border, and I have this army one turn away as well, then we're only a turn away. Can you force... There's no force march in Divide et Impera. Use your navy to save it. I think he'll... I don't think my navy can save it. We have 14 units in there, and this navy... They're not strong enough to hold against what he's got. It'll be suicide. They'll die. He has to capture as well. You can't liberate capital provinces as per your agreement. Yeah. So he has to take it or just sack it if he wants to just damage the crap out of it. Which currently, monetarily, will put me into a pretty bad spot. He's taken Pella, so that fell. So tempting to rush Larissa and try to, like, liberate it. Because otherwise I'm just waiting for him to, for him to come to me with, like, four armies, probably, at, at Apollonia. If he takes it, smash him with three armies and two fleets. That's the hope. The hope is that if he takes it, he has to stay in the town, right? So I'll have two armies here and one army there. I should be able to converge. So I'll, I'll let him go for it, I think. Okay, so that was a lot. So the Cantabri Confederation, one of my allies, I think. Are they? Canta Cantabri. They're out here, aren't they? No, it's Gal Yeah. He got peace with them, I guess. So that means all his satrapies get peace with them. I wonder why he even bothered. I mean, they're not doing anything to him. The hell is this? Child's born. Da, 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 da. So I guess sabotage. I love. Army out of supplies. Sabotage, right? I guess the AI ate your food. Oh, are you kidding me? Damn, that's so annoying.
Damn, that's really annoying. <laughs> Alright, I'll have to think about that in a sec. Right, let's have a look down here. This is a more important thing. So let's see how far over we can get. That's as far as we can go. St actually, I can't even get there the turn after this. It was with the... No, yeah, neither. At least they're kind of going the right way now, but they're taking... <laughs> they're doing the worst thing possible, which is splitting their forces. So I've got 7,000. We said try to make a Merc army to have some sort of last stand. If it buys me time as well, for maybe he, has to, he decides to hold the siege for longer, that might work. But at the, as it stands, so what I need to do is get a general, marry someone so we can get another general, because we don't have any. Uh, otherwise I have to pay a lot of money. So she's available. Okay. And then we need to embezzle funds, which she can do. She's saving the day, man. Do it again. Do it again. Okay, good. So... They're negative seven loyalty. It's not too bad. As long as it doesn't go below ten, it's fine. Big stonks. We just made nine thousand by embezzling. She just embezzled all her money away. Reinstate a legacy. No idea if there's any mercs here, even. Should I find that out first? <laughs> okay, there seems to be in that place. I'm assuming that means there's some here. Should we go with Sacred Band, I guess? Just to be more defensible. Okay, need to get hoplites. And we're out of population. And that's the Libyans. So we should be able to still get foreigners, although there's really not that many. Peltasts, it's a good call on the Peltasts. Why is their stats not coming up? Alright, let's just hire that for now. Archers, you think? I, I don't have much infantry to hold. I mean, I guess, oh yeah, the garrison has lots of infantry, right? So I guess, yeah, missiles is just like super important. Although, we just somehow got more population here. So I'm just going to get the more hoplites again. Not sure how that happened. Not sure how this is happening. Are we not paying? These aren't modded or anything, so okay, whatever. I'm going to get them. The others ran out. Or is it the case that mercenaries don't follow that rule? Bring the navy in too. Just joined. We've just been through that, so I, I probably will now that I've got the armies here. Okay, um, losing money now. Could give them the upgrade. Six thousand. Jesus. Well, General gets his armor and weapons, for sure. These ones can get some armor and weapons. Uh, maybe I'll leave it at that. Damn, just created a full stack out of nowhere. I know. It's the power of Carthaginian mercenaries. Well, in fairness, we stamped our feet and raised some legions in our home province. I think it's totally reasonable to expect that we could do that. So he can get to here and here. So I, I want to be out of range of that, to be honest. I'd want to, because I feel like he'll he'll win. And this guy's on his way. This army is a beast. Just need to get him down there. It's going to take two more turns, though. Now, next turn's winter. So I don't know what's going to be like down here, though. 
Stonk those taxes, you damn right. Boom. Making seven grand just like that. Everywhere's pretty happy. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Breed from them. Don't even want to know what the question was. Always breed from them. Okay, two and a half minutes to go. We have two armies up here. We're apparently hungry. So what do I got to do? Step out here? But then I'm kind of vulnerable to being attacked in my home settlement. But otherwise we take attrition, so... You need to evacuate Apollonia or you'll start to lose a lot. I can't though, because there's pirates. If I send a transport fleet... Oh, I guess I can get across in one go. Oh, I can only get across with one now. I could hop these guys back home. Send this one down here. Yeah, I might just do that. Oh, they don't make any money when you put an army in, for some reason. Okay. Please move your navies. Conrad with his navies. Give me a break. <laughs> Melee skill and defense skill, you can't move when you're in this sense. That sounds good to me. If I lose these navies in this battle, I'll be furious. Because my gut tells me don't bring them anywhere near this. Four turns at sea. How many turns do these guys have left at sea? Six. I'm going to dock these guys in here for one turn to get a bit of extra movement afterwards. Try and sabotage one of his armies. Yeah, he's got two, two and a half thousand left. That's one thing I said we'd try and do. 30% chance. 23, okay. 30% chance. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what did it do, though? <laughs> you can't reinforce. That's some good shit right there. Okay, I can kind of afford to bring these up now. If he can't reinforce. No, no, no. He can reinforce. He just can't get replenishment. So he can still move and do everything else fine. So I'm just going to still just hang back. I think I don't think that does much other than he's not going to reinforce, really. Which seems kind of lame. Negative. Oh, it does say he can't reinforce. Fuck. Oh, well, either way. That helps a lot. I was hoping to bring down my other two armies then, because if he couldn't reinforce for one turn, I know that they're safe to bring closer. So I made a bit of a mistake there. Ah, oh, I forgot to move my fucking king back. Oh, did he move on his own? Maybe. Would you like to fight this, sir? Hmm. Um... Damn. I played. Yeah, sure. Let's give it a go. <laughs> we can take it back next turn. Funny thing is, actually, I never even decided, I never built anything or did anything in the town yet. I actually just forgot to do any building, so we haven't lost any money or anything by. And that crashed. Does look like a good city to defend against naval. He doesn't have that much missile either, really. Four units. Well, they moved on the uh, lightning strike. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to turn down my graphics. Oh well. So what do we got? This is what we have. It's not much, but it might do something. We await your orders. These guys can phalanx, these orders, guys can't. My lord. Ready. Our orders. 
You have, you have arty? I have artillery on the walls. Which I can, what, try to fire at his ships and hope that one of them connects? Should I just, I guess I should just bring these. These will just get swarmed, so I should just dock these, probably. As soon as I can. 300 men. Cool, ready when you are. Alright, one sec. Yeah, so he, he has to come through here, right? He has to land here. If he wants to be in the walls. Oh no, I guess he could land here as well and then come in. I'm just trying to think, like, where's the advantageous place to hold with towers? I mean, holding obviously is the end of the street is good, but... That's really it for my walled artillery. I don't think I can put them anywhere else that would make any use of them. Let's change that one out. Don't need that one. Uh, go for a sea fight. Round them. No. That's... No. Not gonna happen. My ships aren't gonna be strong enough to um, do two rams, which is what's needed to take down his ships, so... There's no point when I've only got three. Uh, if you keep your ships out, your artillery could fire. Well, my general's on one, so he's got to land. These, these two, I mean, I guess, but their health, their ship health is really low. Or is that their unit health? I guess it's unit health. Yeah, the ship health is fine. I could, I don't know. I just don't think, I don't think my artillery's gonna hit him. <laughs> but I guess for fun, let's test it out. But. Here's my prediction. Not one of these shots will land or sink a ship. And I'll try to use distraction tactics with these. And I'm just gonna land the general, just so that we have our general back. Uh, then for the infantry, I mean, these guys, I, the only place I can think to hold really is gonna have to be up here. I just don't think there's anywhere else smarter to hold. I, just to, as a show of goodwill, I could like, no, I, I'm happy holding up here. I think it's fine to try and no, it is lame. <laughs> it's just too lame. I just don't want to subject them to a shit fight. So let's just pop them out here and see what we can react to. And if we can use cavalry, then sure. Stand back. I'll, I'll probably end up just retreating them back. At least that way. Because I just want to see, if, he, if he's going to land everything here, I might just like queue up right here. But if he goes around that side of the I'll be like, okay, I'll fall back. Alright, tell it to fire on this guy in just a sec, and we'll see how close we get. Try to follow the shot. It like sinks in one go. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I've no idea if it's firing or not. I mean, it is firing, but I've no idea if they're getting close. No, it landed over there. This one fire yet? No, so this one's never gonna have an angle anyway. So I've got one artillery, really. Unless he does, I do kite him past this one. Can I, yeah, this one's firing now too. Try shoot yourself. It's still, it's really inaccurate. Like in DEI, it's just really inaccurate. Let's give it a go though. It's not bad, but it's pretty inaccurate. <laughs> Come on. Can aim way further left than I thought, though. All right, we got a hit. Yeah, 
yeah, unfortunately, like, that's it, so. Yeah, I'm not wasting my time with that. Maybe we could take out his supply boat. It's at the back. <laughs> I mean, it does seem like he's just landing here. Uh, I can't, I can't stretch the full way across though, so I can never. Loyal sons of Carthage. I can never get like the full way. Yeah, I guess I'll just have to fall back. Darn his bad aim. What are you talking about? I'm aiming right on it. <laughs> it just deviates. He's out of ammo. Did he get any kills? Oh, he got 22. Come on. Ugh, just over. <laughs> I like to think Jackie's just watching that, just being like... Oh, come on. I oh, surely would have hit a little bit of the under, the underbelly. Yeah. So this is why I was saying, like, artillery is just, it's not really viable. He retreated the ship, did he? Yeah, he got it out of there. Dude, he's actually coming down the street. Could we phalanx here? I mean, I guess we could. Although he'll just, yeah, he'll just split up then. Oh. Get one of, get one hit, and then double ram the same ship. Pretty easier said than done. It's not like I can just sneak up on him all of a sudden. Get moving. Let on hey, we gone. We are at your command. Turn, please, turn. I gave the order. They can't quite do it. The fire pots, man, though. Jeez. Gotta respect the fire pot game. Boop him. Get sprayed by missiles. Support ships ready. Just rotate backwards. Fuck me. I hate those things. Uh, one of my units got caught. God, this is such a shit fight. Why did you guys make me fight this? <laughs> Just kill me. There we go. <laughs> Low key worth it. Fuck it. You know, life's too short. Let's just let him kill me. Just let him kill me. Life's too short. I can't handle it. 
sitting back and fighting this kind of thing. It's just not in my nature. <laughs> Just can't do it. Just feel like shit. <laughs> the whole fight. Not good. Well, this is just a shitty battle that like, like five percent on the order is off. But I guess chat wanted to see it fought. So it's like okay. I don't have the heart for it. I don't have the stomach for it. Just can see defeat now. You gotta at least throw the troops in. Use the artillery, they said. Really good card to go? Of course we fight. Don't fight like this though. This is just wasting time. Waste everyone's time. Gonna go for the most epic flank. Speed of those guys. <laughs> oh my god. Flank complete. If you want to be like that, then just press concede. No point in wasting time. Oh, well, I mean, we're, we're here now. I'm not going to press concede the second before we actually got to see some combat. Then it's just the ultimate worst, right? That's the worst of the worst. Going into the battle, going through all the, the boring bit, and then not, and then being like, yeah, I don't even want to see the combat then. I'll concede once these guys are dead, at least. Because otherwise, then, then what was it for? He died pretty quick. Doesn't feel like Cyrene in the middle of summer. Or was it autumn? Was it? I think it was autumn. Oh, I guess that makes sense. AP? More like OP. What are you using? We're using Divide Et Impera. At least there are some cinematics indeed. I, mean, I like looking at fights as much as the next guy. Picking out a soldier, seeing if he can get a kill. Like this guy. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he does anything. That guy's going crazy in the background though. Right, he still hasn't done anything. I'm still watching. Here we go. Oh shit, he did it. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't quite get to see what's happened, but he's getting the shit beaten out of him. He's getting the shit beaten out of him. Oh, he killed the guy though. <laughs> oh, he almost went down. I couldn't quite see, just behind the guy, you just see the other guy like lifting his fist over and over. Yeah, DI has increased uh, rare enemies. Sorry, Jackie, my chat made me do it. It's Blame fine. Me. Whatever that's for you. Chat made me do it. I couldn't. I couldn't just sit right. up on the temple. I just can't. But I can't. Life's too short. The um, auto result probably would have been better anyway. Yep. <laughs> probably. <laughs> he took it. He took the town. He took the town. And maybe he's gonna murk up. Because surely he knows, like, I've got armies there, so what's his end game here? It would have been way worse for me if he liberated it. So either he brings up another navy, he brings up an army. 
before he makes one. I've been ambushed by the AI, but it's 90% in my favor. But I assume it's your vassal. So do you want to fight it? Who is it? Uh, they've got, I don't know what they're called. Oh, I see. Does it I say? see what it is. The Brucey. Um, yeah, let's fight it. Fuck it. I want to fight it. I just want to see it more than anything. You have 4,000, man. Yeah, you know, because it's a big ish battle, I think it's fun. Spare my ass. Craft again. You know what? At the very least, I could do with this army is like could try to completely wipe out his missiles, or something like that. Because we're not going to beat them. We're not going to beat the army. So I could maybe just try and like bunch up and, and smash the back. Might be a good idea. And then he's got cavalry there, so I could try to use spears up on this side. Yeah, we're never gonna kill that calf. That calf's probably gonna get away though. Use the spears to protect your flanks for your or your archers. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I don't have any calves, so his his shock calf and stuff is still gonna get behind. Like I feel like will just always get behind me. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. All right. He can't see this, by the way. His screen's black right now. Number lock the groups. I'm just gonna grab them all and run them forward, pretty much. Like I'm just gonna grab them, run them forward, grab them, run them forward. I don't need to number lock. I don't. I just don't like groups. Uh, your archers won't be revealed while firing. You can put them in the forest, but don't they like hit the trees and stuff? Ribesman. Yeah, I mean they're all hidden if they're here. I just feel like they hit trees a lot when they do that, so a lot of their shots don't hit. The thing is, like, I'd like to throw my precursors, but I don't think I have time. I think I gotta just run to. Ca oh, I just want to catch the missiles. That's my only goal is to try and kill as much missiles. If I fail that, I failed my plan. Missile armed warriors. Don't think you get a penalty firing out, only firing in. I think I don't know. I don't know if it's a penalty. I'm pretty sure it's like arrows just hit trees. You know, like real-time collision. I think that's what happens. General left behind. Thank you. I'll keep him out here for now. Oh, there's another unit out there. Alright, let's go. Let's 
good. I'm seeing a lot of his uh, missiles die, as planned. I tried to get them out, but I couldn't. Just kill him. Fucking kill him dead. <laughs> kill him dead. I guess those guys are fine. These general abilities, he doesn't have it. Oh, he does. <laughs> I thought he didn't have any. I checked at the beginning of the battle and I didn't see any. That's why I didn't check it. That's why I didn't do any. Like that unit is three units on that one. Damn, my units just break. Is don't. <laughs> That's the difference. Oh well, I think I did what I wanted to though, which is take out his missiles. Uh, we got a donation. KMC, thank you very much. I'll check that out uh, in just one sec. Uh, thank you though. I appreciate that a lot. I think it was worth fighting it out though. As well. We are the moment. Moment. We'll kill them all. Tribesmen. Gotcha. Infantry. Spears. 
my poor general, his little aura. <laughs> Gifted sub as well. Yes, Carlos Fandango gifted a sub to Far Strength. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry, let me have a zoom in. The reason I don't use Fire Hours is because it breaks my guy. If I have lower morale than he does, I feel like it's going to break me faster than him. I often hits my own guys. I guess, yeah, if I was carefully like just using it on the ones that I've surrounded, it probably would have been the right time. I think I was a bit late with it. But like we said, it was, we only fought that just to do maybe better than the AI did. Take it like hammering all those missiles so badly, I think it was great. Because if he's going to keep pushing and going further, now he's at a pretty big disadvantage to not have that range. He has to go back or just get new units. We have our two fleets here, but we've also got a third. So he's and he's docked, which to me is insane. Because if we siege that town, that fleet can't get away. So I don't know what he's doing there. It seems so weird. That he took that town. I thought he was going to liberate it. And he knows we're here. So, but he can't get to us. So unless he's got something here or he brings up or he raises a mercenary stack, I think what I'm probably going to do... It's interesting. It's interesting because if I move... I can move a fleet up here and another fleet and we can take out his fleet. I can leave one here to help with the defense, keep this mercenary stack here to defend, bring my army over, and we still have these two armies free to go back up north. I think that still works out. I think so. Yeah, because we're not going to risk running past. It's not going to work anyway. We can't get far enough. Basically, all you need to do... Oh, he brought up his second fleet. And his third. So he does have three. Dude, we could go for a 3v3 massive naval engagement. To be honest, we could still just like come up and take the town and I feel like we should be able to do pretty well against fleets. His his third fleet's not going to come in during that fight. So, well here's like another thing. With this fleet, I could come up, I could siege the port. I don't know if I'm right with this, but does that mean the fleet inside they're like they're sieged, right? And then the other ship could attack here, and then it would be a 2v2, right? At sea. And then if I brought up a third fleet, it would be a 3v2 at sea. Because these guys would be blockaded. So there is a possible 3v2 naval engagement that we could have there. And then we could sweep in with the armies to finish off the one that's in the, in the port. Like, let's say we lose that naval battle, which we could. I'm not very good at navies. <laughs> and, uh... Just because we have more numbers, ours will be coming out of the back all the time. Oh, yeah. I can lock the port by blockading it and then attack the town with the armies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Surely he knows that, though. If I'm after knowing that, if I find that out and you guys know that, he must know it and his chat must know it. It'll start to bring his other two fleets in. Are you sure? So if I have a fleet, fleet comes up, blockades the port armies come up, sieges, commence battle. Surely the ones that aren't in the port are not in the battle. They're blockaded. Right? But Vagmus says no. No, they are reinforcing. Why does that work? It doesn't work on land. If you, if you blockade a, a land siege, you can't bring in other armies. They will come in, says Benny I. So I guess blockading a port just doesn't operate the same as blockading a siege. Mm, oh, no, it does. Okay, I see. No, yeah, yeah, I get it. I've made a mistake. No, you're right. I guess. I still think if they're blockaded, they but fair enough. If you attack siege, they'll reinforce. Same with armies. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Okay. Oh, well, we still need to decide what to do then. <laughs> He's got three fleets. I've got three fleets. I've got two armies. That's the only difference. So do we go army first? If I bring a fleet up and I attack a siege battle, he's then going to have to decide between fighting me at sea 
or landing his troops to defend the town. Just do the right thing, easy. It's really interesting. I like the battle possible with the 3v2 naval. That does seem like the way to go. What are my army compositions? Kind of weak on this one and this one. My hoplites and my swords are pretty weak. I could merge and get more mercs, though. It's the end of the turn. I'm a senator now. Caesar would attack the fleets first. What would Caesar do? Well, he would build walls around things. So sieging the... Blockading the port seems like the right thing to do there. And pressing any advantage. If the advantage is that I have three fleets and he has two, that seems like the right way to go. So I would say fleet battle first. And if we decimate each other's fleets, the armies are there to mop up. They're after attacking him again. Oh, he backed away. Go on, Brucey. Yeah. Hopefully they can win this, or at least keep him at bay. Apparently, you had the advantage in this battle. Easy. Easy. I don't really know where that's coming from. So my reinforcement's coming in from over here. His troops are way better, and we've got the same amount. And he's got way more cav, so I don't see how we'll win, but I'll try my best to not charge his pikes head on and so on. Uh, ready when you are. Infantry! Force of gold! Tree men! Tree men? <laughs> Oh god. That's interesting. Heavy Hey, you attacked me, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carthage needs a new Safet. Eddie, calm down, <laughs> says Iboba. <laughs> Eddie, calm down. <laughs> uh, let's get some battle music going. Sorry. He is taking an hill. Yep, there's not much I can do about it. I'll just have to approach from over here. I mean, I guess I could try to go harass somewhat. If you get any more calm, I'll shit my pants. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Running a little bit nicer now as well. Maneuvered. Jackie has no archers? No, because we ambushed them, remember? We killed all we took all his missiles. This is the same army. So I can fire up at him. Try to get him down. My units are faster, but I don't have any cavalry, so you gotta remember that as well. So that's a general, and that's a general. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to catch up. I'm not that fast.
What is that mod? It's Divide et Impera. Search Divide et Impera on YouTube and you'll find a video about it that is really good and tells you everything you need to know about the mod. Need to make sure he just doesn't use that cav advantage too much against me. Cavalry. I mean, I guess I could fire on them. Oh. I don't know if it's worth it or not. like different ranges. Shit. I think Jav Cav, if so. They better use Mr. Ammo. Don't think it's worth it. I don't know who to fire at, dude. I don't know who to fire at. Like, hitting these guys in the front is just not going to do very much. We need to, like, at least decide on one common guy to shoot at. And they do. They have precursor shots as well. I guess they, that means they do have missiles, <laughs> I suppose. I'm just getting surrounded. I don't know what to do. His units are just so good, though. Warriors of Heavy horse. Oh my god, I'm hitting one on Jenny. the crap out of those cavalry now but they're really heavily armored i don't want to just cheese this general it's too long doing that he doesn't do that to me we don't do that it's unless it makes sense you know like if he's really coming to my range and it's he's a, like a proper threat you don't just sit back and try to only fire on him Uh, 
he's in now. Ultimately, once you get in, I don't know if there's anything I can do. He's hitting those missiles. I was hoping I could like squeeze through and hit some of these units in the back or something, I don't know. General's getting a little hurt. Heavy horse. This general died. Heavy horse. All right, so I've gotten a unit out and around now. He doesn't like that. But like, it's just never going to break his morale, I don't think. Still steady. I'm afraid that is going to be G to the G's. Quality of his army is just way too good. Oh, he did have two missile units. Good attempt. Yeah, that was an alright attempt, to be honest. I'm happy with how I did. Kept our missiles firing for quite a while. Didn't make good use of them, though. It's, like, his units are really armored. He shoot at them from the front. Even focus fire, I, I still feel like, ultimately, it's it's kind of a waste. If you're not firing in his back, then it's not really worth it. That's why I, that's why I targeted cavalry. At least from what I've, I've experienced. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying why I did it that way. And, you know, once you start firing on me, he pulls his cavalry back, so I couldn't only ever fire on just one thing ever. I, I rotated cavalry. This general died? Uh, I don't think so? I don't think so. This general has 82 men in the unit. Seems alive to me. Well, maybe he died, I don't know. I'm playing as Carthage. And for this battle, I was playing as the Brucey Confederation. Christian defeat, Jesus. God, we only killed 400. Fuck me. Out of curiosity, why did you retreat when they first attacked you? Uh, in case they couldn't reach me. Oh, but it just it just seemed like you could easily win. That you didn't want to just fight them out in the open anyway. Well, I still have to take a city, right? I'd rather right. get my um get my replenishment and stuff, yeah. and recruit mercenaries and go and win an easier battle. That's fair enough. Yeah, makes sense. This just that's how it happened before it crashed, so I just did the same again. Using missile units of DI is super hard unless you get the drop in the forest where your dudes are hiding. Yeah, well, missiles are, like, super powerful from behind. Like, they're really, really great. It's just that we're fighting, like, elite, top-tier Seleucid units, you know? Yeah, he's got the silver shield swords. I've got good sword infantry, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain there. I have units that are comparable, but just for the cavalry, like, I can't get, like, mounted cataphracts, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, some of the units he has, it's just like, fuck, what do I do? Tough combinations to fight. Yeah, I didn't kill his general, not even close. 